Hi there, everybody. It's meteorologist Terry Swales from the home studios. A beautiful day underway out there. It's June 25th. You know what? Six months from today, it's Christmas. Only 180 some days to get your shopping done. Get on it, folks. I want to show you a beautiful picture here. This was taken by Richard Gall. It was near Bennett, Iowa, and this was taken on Sunday evening. And you can see some nice structure with a thunderstorm there. It's actually rotating just a little bit. And uh, you can see a nice shelf cloud coming in from the west. I'm sure there was a nice burst of rain when this came on through. And a very pretty shot with the corn growing out in the field out there. Corn's growing fast these days with the rains and the humid weather we've been experiencing. And speaking of this weather picture here too, I did want to mention that I'm going to be putting up featured weather images on a regular basis. So if you've got a nice shot you'd like to get on here, send it my way. You can put it on Facebook and we'll grab it from there and hopefully yours will be one of the feature images right here on tswales.com. Let's take a look at today's satellite imagery and notice the clouds that are beginning to gather down to the southwest of us. That's where our next piece of energy is beginning to take shape. That'll eventually be moving north-northeast and should bring some showers and thunderstorms back into the Midwest here as we kick off another active period just in time for the upcoming weekend. But for the moment out there, our satellite shows beautiful sunshine around eastern Iowa and most of Illinois today. And with that sunshine out there, the temperatures are warming. You know, the sun is very strong this time of year. And you can see the temps have already climbed up to around 80 here in the Quad Cities. And that's the type of weather that covers much of Iowa and Illinois and points on the south. But the dew point's not overly bad today, so the humidity levels are certainly tolerable around eastern Iowa and western Illinois. Now... Here's where things are going in the next few days. This is our 500 millibar jet stream chart, and we've been showing this disturbance that's going to cross the west and head into the upper Midwest very slowly over the next four or five days. And out ahead of this here, notice how the jet stream is starting to buckle over the Great Lakes states. That's a southwest flow that's going to be developing, and that's going to be pulling in some warm, moist air, so you can expect it to feel real summer-like around here over the upcoming weekend. And then eventually, as some energy that kicks out of that trough over the western U.S., uh, several pieces of that, we will be getting some rounds of showers and thunderstorms. The most concentrated areas appear to be just to the north and west of the Quad Cities, but there's going to be some occasional chances for rain in the forecast starting Friday and continuing right on into the upcoming weekend. Now today we talked about the humidity levels not being too bad. As you can see over the Great Lakes states today, the moisture plume is not as prevalent there but you get further south into Missouri and southern Illinois and you start seeing those yellows. That's where moisture is once again returning from the Gulf of Mexico. So we're showing you here the water vapor. And so there's today. And notice what happens now as we go into Saturday. And you can see those bright yellows heading up into Minnesota, Wisconsin, actually all the way into Canada. So there's a big strip of moisture that's moving north from the Gulf of Mexico. And that's what's going to deliver the humidity to the region and also serve as the moisture supply for any showers and thunderstorms that do develop in the days ahead. Here we are on Friday night, and this is the surface features and the pre precipitation that's predicted. And you can see there's a lot of that going on out to the west over the northern plain states, some of that just trying to creep into western Iowa and Minnesota. And there's a warm front that's stretched out from there on into Missouri. And as that moves on north Friday night and into Saturday, it could develop the first round of showers and thunderstorms in Iowa and Illinois. And then eventually, once that goes on by, we're into the soupy air around here. And after that, uh, some additional chances for rain, especially starting Sunday night and Monday in my part of the Midwest. Now, I wanted to get back to this jet stream flow here. Again, this is what we're going to be seeing as we go into the upcoming weekend. But notice what happens here as this trough continues to move east. It finally gets on by here, and now we're looking at July 2nd, so we're well into next week. And the trough has switched the winds in from the northwest. It's going to send much drier air back into our part of the country. And you can see the impacts of all of this by the temperature anomalies. Here we are over the weekend with readings running well, perhaps 10 to 12 degrees above normal. That should get us pretty close to the upper 80s to around 90 here in the Quad Cities as we get towards maybe Monday. But then, as the front goes on by, take a look at what happens then. The temperatures turn substantially cooler, and readings actually go below normal by July 2nd. You can see the, the greens there, 
that are indicative of temperatures that will be running about 5 to 8 degrees below what's typical. So it appears to me that by the time we get to the 4th of July, we will have scoured out a lot of the humidity. The temperature should be nice and comfortable with highs in the upper 70s to around 80 degrees. And at this point, I'm really liking the way things are shaping up for the 4th of July. But the general trend in the short term is going to be for the warmer temperatures, and you can see that showing up here on our 7-day forecast for the Quad Cities. Note those temperatures steadily rising as we go through the weekend. Along with that will come the higher humidities. And just about every day from Friday into Tuesday, there will be the threat of a shower or storm around. But the important thing to note is that these will be widely scattered. It's not going to be raining all the time. And so there will be lots of dry hours in there and plenty of steamy conditions to go along with that. And then finally, by around next Tuesday night or Wednesday, we start to dry out the pattern and bring that cooler air back into the Midwest for some pleasant weather conditions then. That is your weather briefing here for this Wednesday afternoon. Get outside and enjoy it if you can. A beautiful day in progress and I think we'll get one more of those before things start to turn a little more active towards the end of the week. You're on tswales.com. Thanks for visiting and as always, roll weather.